Morning. So with this coronavirus thing going around, none of us know how far it's going to go. Uh, a lot of us have, you know, gotten food together. You know, we've got some water set to the side. Uh, you've got some kind of filter options for, you know, just in case you need to. Uh, we don't know how far it's going to go, especially with the news and their reporting. Uh, you know, there's always the possibility that things could go a little farther than you thought they would. Uh, and I don't know what kind of backup plans uh, certain companies have. And one of the things that I was thinking about is what if it got to the point to where you know, they just tell everybody, stay home, everybody quarantine yourselves, we're going to wait this thing out. Uh, but grocery stores, that's one thing. Gas stations, that's one thing. Uh, but what about the stuff at your house that you need for everyday stuff? Uh, what if the power company doesn't show up because everybody's just hanging out to the side and are trying to wait this whole situation out? What if the water company doesn't show up? Then you don't have power to your house. You don't have running water in your house, or maybe it's running, but it's not clean for some reason. What if there's no gas at your house? Uh, so that knocks out your water heater, your furnace, uh, your, your running water in your house, your ability to uh, you know, flush the toilet, take a shower, run the faucet to wash your hands. Uh, you know, their electricity, electricity is out, so you don't have lights. Uh, maybe you have an electric water heater. All of those different things uh, could be, your, your life could be affected because those things may not be there at some point. Uh, whether from something like this where people may stay home uh, just to, to quarantine themselves so they're not showing up to produce that power, to, to, uh, to filter and sanitize that water for you, to pump the gas to your house. Uh, so what if those things weren't there? That's a big thing that we all kind of don't think about because we go into the house and we flip on the lights. We don't really give it a second thought. We turn on the faucet. We don't give it a second thought. We're just so used to clean, drinkable water coming right out of the faucet on demand. We're used to, oh, we flip on the furnace and it starts heating the house. Um, if those things weren't there. But the one in this video that I'm going to kind of focus on is the water portion. Um, you know, so you've got water jugs of clean water that you bought from the grocery store, gallon jugs. Uh, it's clean, it's drinkable, they're sealed up, you've got them stacked and sorted off to the side. Uh, but, you know, you've got your also your 24 packs, your 36 packs, your 12 packs of bottled water in little 20 ounce bottles that everybody drinks so heavily these days. Uh, so you've got those, but eventually those are going to run out. Uh, so what do you do from there? You know, if something comes along like a water main break. Everybody raids the grocery store first thing, water runs out. Can't buy water anywhere, and the water coming out of the faucet is bad. Uh, so I had, in my last video, I showed you the, the Berkey water filters that I have. There's also, you know, life straws or the Sawyer water filters. You've got multiple different items. You can look on YouTube, find all different kinds of ways to filter water with sand and charcoal and cloth and all kinds of different ways. Uh, but I started thinking, okay, I've got this water set to the side. What do I need to do for water storage? And, you know, you've got rain barrels and stuff like that, but I don't have any barrels. Uh, I could get some and I could kind of make my, you know, rig my gutters to fill them or, you know, some other different ways to fill the barrels up. And I thought, well, all I have right now in my possession is uh, some buckets. So let's make them work. So I just went out. Now I've got, I had a bunch that were real dirty of just five gallon buckets sitting in my garage. I had two stacks of them sitting underneath the workbench that I had used for you know, taking dirt from one place to another. I put a bunch of scrap metal in them, uh, just kind of organizing items, throwing this and that one, that one and that one. Um, but they were just kind of sitting there empty because they didn't have a use right now. So I thought, okay, well, 
the water's still clean, everything's still good, why not use those buckets? And uh, you know, I could just rinse them out because I can filter the water, I just need to hold the water for just in case. Uh, so I took those, I rinsed them out with the hose. You know, there's still a little bit of, there's like some concrete residue and you know, a little bit of dirt and stuff here and there. Uh, but I started filling them up and then I realized, oh, how can I store these? Uh, because I don't have any lids. So I need to get some lids. And so I went to the store and you've got your general, give me just a minute. You've got your general lids for your buckets. Just a little thing. Just pops on there, mainly just for holding items in. Um, but they're not really sealed. They, they snap on, but they're not really sealed. Uh, and I figured that isn't going to work because I want the water to stay the way it is. Give me another minute. So I went to the store. And I got more buckets with this kind of lid. And this lid here, it has this longer drop down edge on it that has like a pull away tie kind of thing at the bottom. And then between these little sections here, you can actually pop that section up to take the whole lid off. But the thing about these lids is they have a rubber seal all the way around the top that goes between the bucket and, uh, and the lid. And they're cheap. You know, the buckets were three, low $3 a piece at the, at the store. And then these lids uh, at a local hardware store um, that is orange in color, uh, they had these kind of lids for like $1.76 a piece. So I thought, hey, that's a deal. So I got a bunch of these buckets and a bunch of these lids, and I just filled them up with water from the hose and then stick a lid on there. And once I made sure I had the lid all the way on there, I tipped the bucket over and onto its side. I just looked to make sure the water wasn't leaking out anywhere and it wasn't. Good, sealed, strong lid. And with that kind of lid, I can take all of these buckets and I can just stack them one on top of another. And I have some sort of water storage so that way you know, if things go bad for some reason, I don't know what it'll be. I don't have anything particular in mind. Uh, I can, I have my, my water bottles, my water jugs, uh, and if the water isn't back to normal by the time those run out, well, I've got buckets, five gallon buckets of water just stored off to the side that no, I'm not gonna drink them right out of that bucket because that would just be a bad idea. I can take those and pour them into the filter that I have uh, and it will sanitize the water, purify the water, filter all the bad crap out and it's usable water. And I can use that for a long time. And then if the water still isn't back to normal by the time those are gone, well, We've got more problems, but there are items around my house that I've already scoped out that I can take a bucket, I can go fill up that water, bring it back, and filter it, you know, along with collect collecting rain and stuff like that. So those are options. Think about what you have on hand, um, because it's easy to think, well, I'm gonna need this. Oh, well, they make that for that, but it costs a lot of money. I can't do that. I'll never be able to save that much. I don't have room for it. Oh, I'll just give up. It's easy to do that. But with the way I think of things is, okay, what do I have that I can use that with? And I look around and it may be, I don't have anything. But then I look back around and I say, what can I make work? You know, what do I have on hand that I can make it work? You know, rig something up, uh, redneck it, if you will, to where it wasn't made for that purpose, but I can modify it and figure it out and make it work. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, it doesn't take any big storage tanks or, you know, barrels sitting around everywhere. It can be something as simple as a five gallon bucket with a lid. And you have at least something set to the side that you can use and you can filter. That way you're good to go. So... 
there's that. I'm going to get back to work. Y'all be good.